Hello, Fat Girl Flow family. Um, we are in my office right now, and I am going to do a little office tour with you guys. You guys have been asking for this for a while, and while I don't think it's very interesting, I am starting to understand that you guys will think it's interesting. I'm also going to try to answer a few questions about blogging and YouTube and about business stuff and how I make money. I get lots of questions about those things, um, but usually I forget to answer answer them or I say that I'm going to make a video answering them and now that I'm supposed to answer them I don't really remember many but I'm gonna try. Our office is not that big. I share it with one of my best friends. Her name's Ashley McCaskill. She is a creative consultant. She does all of my graphic design stuff, all the shirts, all my logos, everything that you see comes from her. She is so amazing. So here is what our office looks like from the front door. It is pretty simple. Uh, we have some paint stuff laying around because we still need to finish painting. We have a cute little pink refrigerator. That's where Ashley keeps all her LaCroix. I know it's LaCroix, but I hate saying LaCroix. Um, our big bowl school is eventually going to go up there, but we have to finish painting first. Of course, this is the mirror that you guys always see me posting Instagram photos in. I just got this really cute jumper from Mod Cloth. If you guys want me to do a haul that includes this where I tell you about it, let me know in the comments below. Ashley got this beautiful lamp. We have this great rug. Ashley's mama gave that to us. This is Ashley's space. Um, she often meets with clients and does her nails at her desk. And this is my very boring space. Not much is happening there. You can see on the computer, there's a sneak peek of a new shirt that we're designing. And we have a really beautiful view of the downtown district in my town. Windows open, it's gorgeous. This is my view all day. We just have this tiny little office. That's Roxanne Gay. Ashley has great little detail-y things on her side. I have no details except for like a plant. Um, I put my business cards out. I have really cute business cards you guys wanna see. There's my business cards. A yummy candle. My, this is a jewelry rack that I hang my earphones and my sunglasses on. Of course, we have these cute little marble and gold coasters. This is a spider plant that hasn't been watered in a long time, but it's doing great. Also, this desk has a really cool ledge right there that you can put like little knickknacks and cute things in, but I usually don't because my intern sits there when she comes in and I don't want her to knock them over. So one of the questions that I get asked the most often is how did I get started? Uh, it's not nearly as exciting as people may think. Most of you guys know that I used to be a nude model and I had my own website. And I also have been on Tumblr for years and years and years. And I used to post like pictures of my outfits and stuff like that on Tumblr. Um, when I had my own website for modeling, I had to promote it and I learned how to promote things on social media. It was like a massive crash course in learning how to market and promote yourself and it was amazing. When I was on Tumblr, I got up to like maybe 15,000 subscribers or followers or whatever you call them on Tumblr. When that happened, I asked people if they thought I should take my blog legit and blog about plus size fashion and fat politics and stuff like that. And people were very positive about it and very excited about it. So the next day I decided to create fatgirlflow.com. Shortly after I created fatgirlflow.com, I actually won a contest where I won $10,000. Uh, obviously for many reasons, you guys can imagine why that was a huge deal for me. I had never made more than like $15,000 in a year at that point in my life. I won that 10 grand and I decided to commit several months to Fat Girl Flow and just try to make it work. Um, I really, really like the inspirational speeches that people give about blogging and about how anybody can do it because that is true. That's absolutely true and anyone can start. You can start wherever you are. I think it would be fucked up of me to not mention that I had that huge 
cushion when I started. Vlogging without having some kind of capital to begin with is difficult. It is harder to get your start. Um, it is harder to make money. It is harder to do everything if you are starting with nothing, as it always is in life. Uh, it is a privilege that I had that. And I think that there are a lot of people out there selling blogging courses and, you know, trying to sell people the dream and stuff, and that they really miss that little part. And I think that that's a lie. I think that we shouldn't lie to people about how easy this is. It is difficult. It, just like any other business, takes money to start. So when I started, I really invested all of my income, which was that $10,000 in this. Through modeling, I had hosted my own site and I had worked with WordPress and stuff and I had also had someone who kind of mentored me and taught me a lot about blogging. Um, they ran a hosting company and they had worked with bloggers before and they kind of told me, hey, this is how you make money blogging. So my goal out the gate was to make money. I knew that I absolutely wanted to make money right away. So how do you do that? You become an affiliate. Um, uh, affiliate sales are the things that I make the bulk of my income from. I have been doing this since my channel started. I have always linked affiliate links. I have always told people that they were affiliate links. When you click on one of those links, I get a percentage of what you would spend if you do end up spending money on that site. So because plus size fashion is so up and coming, it really helped me to get off on the right foot. Because I had been involved in fat politics and on Tumblr, I really had a good sense of what plus size people were looking for at the time. So I committed myself to creating blog posts that were hyper useful. Some of my cornerstone content would be the plus size clothing guide for sizes 28 and up, where to find plus size swimwear, where to find wide calf boots, and I really kept making lists like this and I did not half-ass them. I put hours of work into them. I would say each post took about 10 hours. This was three years ago. I don't think it was quite as easy to find things online three years ago. And so I took my knowledge of online shopping and condensed it down to a very, very useful posts that people would want to bookmark and reference constantly. And they did. I put them out on Pinterest. I shared them on Facebook. People like like Jess Baker of The Militant Baker uh, shared some of my posts, got me a lot of traffic, and it all kind of snowballed from there. A lot of people ask me how long it took me to start seeing a kind of stable income from this. Um, affiliate networks, when you first start with them, they aren't going to pay you out for 90 to 120 days. So right off the bat, you're not going to see money for like three months when you start blogging, at least, at the minimum. I remember the first time that I made $500. It was a very big deal. That was a very, very big month for me. I think that that was right around the six month mark. Some people might say that this is in poor taste. I believe in transparency and I think the more we talk about things, the more educated we are on this business, the more we can help each other and we can make sure we're not being taken advantage of. So at the six month mark, I was making about $500 a month. Now a little past the three year mark, I make anywhere from five to $8,000 a month. I'm doing okay for myself. Uh, I would not say that that is necessarily the norm. I do not think all bloggers make that. I think I went into this having a very business mindset. I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew what I wanted the outcome to be. I had a mentor. I did the damn thing right off the bat. I really set myself up so that I would be making more and more money every month. My friend Brianne asked how I learned about affiliates and affiliate linking and stuff like that. That was all from the person who, who was a web host for WordPress sites. He was a plethora of information for me. He taught me pretty much everything about affiliate marketing that I needed to know. This information is not easily found online. I do think that it is becoming more and more talked about, but it's still not super easy to find. Um, I actually created a website called soyouwannablog.com. I am not great at updating it, but I made it so that I could have some simple resources to give to other bloggers who ask me some free 
frequent questions about affiliate marketing and about how to start a blog and about how to utilize affiliate links and what niche they should be in and stuff like that. So if you ever have any questions about blogging, go to soyouwantablog.com, check it out, see if your questions can be answered there. And if they can't, let me know what your questions are because I would like to write articles about what your questions are. I even have a article on there about how to manage your expectations and what to think about before you get started. A lot of people, their question to me is just, how do I get started? This feels very overwhelming. I do have a blog post over there that I talk about that on. I will link it in the description box below. It's really just about managing your expectations, knowing what is in store, and also having a commitment to this thing that is not going to immediately make you money. And treating it like a business, right out the door, the faster you treat this like a business, the faster you are gonna make money. My friend over on Twitter, Livid Lipids, asked me how I manage all of the clothing. So here's the thing about fashion blogging. You have to post things that are new and current or else people aren't gonna buy it. I don't post things that people can't buy because then I can't make money from it. So I always shop the new arrivals section. This fucking sucks for people who are like thrift bloggers or people who don't have enough money or don't receive product because it really makes it so that you can't post the same outfits over and over again because people are like, oh, that outfit's great, but I can't buy it, so like, meh. There are alternatives to doing what I do, though. Um, there is someone named Alexa Webb, and she has an amazing website, and all it is is like inspiration boards for outfits. She has found a way around actually wearing the clothes and now creates inspiration boards that she posts all over Pinterest. If you've been on Pinterest, you have seen her inspiration boards. And these inspiration boards are totally clickable people can buy from them it is an amazing thing that she has done so while I definitely think that you need to be creating new things and putting out new clothes there are ways around that where you can think outside of the box so that you can still make money and not be spending as much money the last question that I am going to answer is how do you deal with all of the clothing do you give it away what do you do with it so in my heart of hearts I am a little bit of a minimalist I do not like having a lot of things um, there are people who really really treasure some of their fashion items I am just not that person I really like a t-shirt and jeans and while I think that a lot of the things I get are very very cool they do not serve me very well a lot of the time so my commitment has always been to donate as much of the clothing that I receive free from companies as possible. This last week we brought about six bags full to the local women's shelter. They have been really wonderful and amazing in making it easy for us to donate stuff. I really, really wish that I had the time to maybe like manage an online shop where you guys could purchase the clothes for like the cost of shipping or something unfortunately that is just not something that I currently have the time or resources to do so I think that's all that's all I'm gonna answer for today if you guys have any questions ask me about things this is my passion a lot of you guys know me as like the fashion blogger my favorite thing about what I do is really the business side of it I really see myself as a business person as someone who has has kind of made her career appear out of thin air. I love talking about business. I love teaching other people. Um, I hope in the future when I am not as into clothes and maybe want to take a backseat to fashion blogging that I can help other bloggers create things. I love this. I love talking about it. So if you guys ever have questions, please let me know. If you guys think that we should start some kind of like blogger series here, I'd be really, really into that. I just need like very focused things to talk about because a lot of times these things are not so black and white. So I could spend hours kind of, you know, explaining the gray areas, but with more questions from you guys, it makes it easier for me to create these kinds of videos. Okay, 
I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me in my office today. Thanks for letting me talk about things that I really enjoy and love. And of course, thank you for watching. Until next time, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and you guys, we have a new Instagram account at Fat Girl Flow Fam, and it is to celebrate all of you and to repost pictures and to let other fat babes shine. I'm really excited about it. I have some amazing moderators that are helping run it, and I would love if you guys went and followed it. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Bye.